This is the temple, the house of God. I'm just gonna start acting how we be acting with our bodies in the house. My favorite is Chinese food and ketchup. Why are you so bothered? Who gonna clean it? Yeah, this is just the house of God. It's just a house. It's just a house. Just a house. Who cares? <laughs> I lift my hands in the sanctuary. I lift my hands to give you the glory. I lift my hands to give praise. And we will praise you. Don't care so much. It's just a temple. Syrup all over the communion. Don't care so much. Over the Bible too. Y'all stop acting like you care about this. I mean, stop acting like this matters to you. It's been 40 years. It's been 50 years. It's been 15 years of not caring about our temple. Why do you care about these eight chairs and these symbols of Christianity when it's not even the place where the Holy Spirit is dwelling? I am the temple of the Holy Spirit. All right, so he's getting a lot of backlash for this all, all over the place. What do you guys think about him pouring syrup on the Bible specifically? It's the antics for me. <laughs> Why? What, what was the purpose? I try not to make too many comments without seeing the full context that was yeah. going on. But I would just say this, like him and a lot of other social media pastors that we really see, um, it's almost like... They feel like they have to have these viral antics yeah. um, to try to draw people in and to get attention and do stuff. And sometimes it just go too far. I'm not, I really don't subscribe to his teaching at all anyway, but you know, some people do, so I don't want to offend anybody unless you just, you know what I'm saying, whatever. But hey, um, I just feel like he goes too far. I don't feel like it was necessary. I feel like the point he was trying to make, he didn't have to put syrup on the Bible. We get it, the body of the temple, you defile in the temple, now you act like you want to care. The Bible didn't have to get syrup poured on it. You didn't have to do all the dancing and gyrating and all that stuff. It, just, it was just too much for it's me. It's just too much. too much. We add too much to the message. Like, yeah. if you look at John the Baptist... And you look at Jesus, what was the message? Repent for the kingdom of heaven is near. Well, like, yeah. that's the message. And he likes to say you got to have all this stuff because the, the, the demographic we're dealing with now, they need entertainment. So he's turned more into an entertainer, I believe, yeah, than he sure. is a pastor at this point. For and I sure. just, I can't just, rock just with him. Just have a TV show. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I can't rock with him, man. But that, for several reasons, I won't say on the air. I won't <laughs> there, there's a, there's a, somewhat of a respect for the attempt mm -hmm. but the church is not where that belongs no. or, or church service specifically like kind of how we were dealing with the nightclub you know you go to the nightclub that's fine but that's extra curriculum that is not sunday morning or, or, or wednesday night bible study or you know when we are meeting with the church uh as as a body there's there's a time and a place. This is what, this is what I'm trying to get at. There's a time and a place, and specifically pouring syrup on the Bible, it gets messy. No pun intended, because you're you're trying to you're trying to. I see what you're trying to get at. You're just like, oh, you don't care normally, but at the same time, it's like the word of God is his literal word. <laughs> but the pour syrup on the Bible is just a, it's almost like I didn't care. My right. point was more important. Mm, you know I got what I'm saying? My point was more important. I got wow. a question. I got a question. And so that's good. Um, if if he did everything but the syrup on the Bible, would you be cool with it? Yeah, I've been cool with it. The I Bible, oh, cool it, I just it. feel like it was necessary. Somebody in the comments said something about God made the prophets do all kind of antics and stuff. Those prophets were spirit led by God to mm -hmm. do certain yes. things to give examples to the people of Israel. Yes, that this is what God is going to do through prophecy. Mm -hmm. Yes, there's no way in the world you, you can tell me. The Spirit led him to pour syrup on the Bible. Mm -hmm. And I could be wrong. I don't want to put God inside of a box of my limited understanding, True. but I don't feel like that was Spirit led. I felt like this would be a good idea. Let's do mm -hmm. this. That's what I felt yeah. like. That so was. Yeah. so I, I don't 
I don't I've said this in the past about Mike Todd. I do think he needs to be careful. I don't know where his relationship with is with God, but I do think there is a coming from a church that did things like this. There is a tendency to chase the virality. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I don't know if that's what he's doing, but there is a tendency to chase virality. So I don't want him to do that. Um, however, in this situation, I got his point completely. Mm -hmm. His point was you come to church. You do all the Christian things, yeah. but your actual temple, mm -hmm. trash. Yeah. You, you, you treat it like trash. You, yeah, you have sure. no respect for it. That. that was a valid point. Yes. And I think he may come from the school. I, I came from the school like the Louis Giglios and mm -hmm. people like that, where Louis always taught with a, a, in a visual example. He would bring in a Starbucks cup and the message would be centered around something you can see visual. Boom. Mm -hmm. You get what this is. I'm going to preach a message around this thing. So I have no problem with the, the, the yeah, setup no. and all that. Right. The Bible part. I had a dream one time that I was on stage and I was preaching a message. And part of my message this is in the dream. Part of my message was I was going to take the Bible and throw it on the ground. And in the dream, everybody gasped like, <gasps> And the point of the message was you have more respect for the printed words on the paper than you do for the actual word of God. Mm -hmm. What I believe a lot of people have is a superstitious faith in God mm -hmm. where they don't care about actually living out any of the things that God says, mm -hmm. but they still cringe when you do something against the symbols of God, which is what he was saying, like the actual printed work, this is literally just ink on paper, right? Mm -hmm. What makes it special is the person who said them, mm -hmm. the actual message right. in the words, right? So if that was his point, to me, that's a, a brilliant point. I agree 100% with that. But then on the flip side, we do a Bible study with our church with some people over in India. And these are people that have no Bibles. We sent them some Bibles when they got the Bible, these folks broke down in tears and were celebrating. Wow. Oh my God, I can't believe a Bible. Yes, yes. These are people where insurgents can come in at any moment and take their life for doing any kind of church-related functions whatsoever. They were so excited to have a Bible in their hand. Now I get it, which is, I agree with you yeah. 100%. But even with just that text, just with those letters, like, to certain people in the world, that means a whole lot that's their connection to the lord like they can't go into a sanctuary like we can they can't dance around on stage it's, and have christian yeah. clubs and yeah. do this wow. stuff like this right here is the only connection they have to the word some people can't even have the whole thing they can only have a page mm -hmm. yeah like they get caught with more than anything they can lose mm -hmm. their life, life right. so for you to be so but, i don't know for me it's different but I just, isn't that wow. his point though isn't that his point is that you you have the luxury of this bible mm -hmm. and you have like a you know like the super uh superstitious fear of pouring syrup on it right mm -hmm. like that you that feels wrong to you mm -hmm. but yet your life says that you don't really care mm -hmm. about what it says right well get something else and put a holy bible <laughs> on it right. you know what i'm saying get a fake bible I will, but i will also say this it's also the visual representation of what the bible means to the christian faith it's the visual thing yeah. Yeah. because there are people all over the world who who know christianity quote unquote know Christianity know about Christ know about God know about the Bible and they look at you know like oh yeah the Christians read the Bible that's their, that's their book that's the Bible mm -hmm. when someone such as him who is a quote unquote social media pastor who has gone viral several times about what he said what he does the people there are people watching him who are not Christians and we know that there are people who see his stuff mm -hmm. and they, they take what he says and we're like oh, I could take that I could take that I could take that build my faith off that and when they see his uh, 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 what what could look like a blatant disrespect of the word of God just for, for pouring syrup mm -hmm. on there. We as Christians know the, the that's just a book with paper and with ink, like you said. Yeah. However, the visual representation of him just his personal Bible, just, it's like dang, he don't care about his Bible. He don't care about you know like it. But it that visual just, representation of what people who un don't understand what we yeah. understand mm -hmm. sees. But if yeah. if the and point superstitious people who look at that, and, you know if the point he's trying to make is your visceral reaction to me doing this. Mm -hmm. Reveal something about your heart, right? That you have more respect for this book that was printed by Publishers Clearinghouse or whatever yeah, 100%. Mm -hmm. than you actually do about where God lives. He lives mm -hmm. inside of your yeah. temple, yep. yeah. mm -hmm. and you have no mm -hmm. nothing yeah. sacred about that whatsoever. And let's just now, say that. Is, let's just say that. Why do we have to use our freedom in Christ with these antics? I would also ask. It caused confusion. What if, what if somebody ask. needs that visual? What if they didn't get it? Until he, they saw him do that, and it's like, I see what you mean. Now. But how many people? How many people saw that thirty-second clip and it stopped when he poured the syrup on the Bible? 
Yeah, I, I, you see I, what I'm saying? That's, that's social media for us. We take pieces. It's, it's, a it's the same slope, with the Bible. Yeah. It's the yeah. same with the Bible. We take pieces, and I was talking about this earlier. We'll I take agree. a verse out of James. Ooh, yeah. ooh, ooh. A very controversial verse. Ooh. And it, like, I can do all things in Christ, okay. through Christ who strengthens me. That yeah. did not mean I could jump off a cliff and fly just right. because God strengthened me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It. It's when we take stuff out of context, that stuff t- context that stuff goes wrong. But did people he, can take that? Did he out of take it? Did he take it? No, out of I believe his church got exactly what he was saying. Okay, I believe the people okay. who were present got exactly what he was saying. But I believe that will be people who view that stop at the Bible and be like, "Wow, he don't even care about." I just you know, I who just, don't understand. I'm you know just careful saying? with Mike Todd because I know people jump on him. Yeah. But I try to take every instance at a time. When we did the yeah. Easter service, we had people in here defending him there, but I was still like, okay, I've seen this before. Mm-hmm. This is a little bit dangerous. Be careful. You know what yeah, I'm saying? He's yeah, walking yeah. a very thin it's, line. It's, yeah, just be careful. Sure. With this example, I get the reaction, but to me, that reaction proves can reveal point. something. Yeah, it, it proved his point. Yeah, which I agree. I agree. Which I think a lot of people need to see that they have more respect for this symbol than they do the real life. Mm-hmm. I think so many people, they see God as something that grandma taught them so they have to respect it mm. not a real living relationship with yeah. Jesus on yeah. a daily basis I come basis. from that like the communion table you touch that communion table you might oh, get yeah. DDT to the church right. you know what I'm saying like, <laughs> oh, wow. so you, I, I, you know what I'm saying like I get it like, I understand all that kind of stuff <laughs> but, yeah. but you also you also got to know like there's some people out here who have that point of view and I know it's hard as a pastor or somebody delivering a message to try to reach everybody in that context mm-hmm. yeah. right, right. but I mean I just don't feel like that had to be done alright let's yeah. let's take a quick break Would and you? we'll come back right away you're in the field with the track stars Ryan Wright to Shantan and DJ Jeremiah let's go Hey, what's going on? I hope you liked that video. Make sure you like and subscribe. And make sure you support us on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash trackstarsuniverse. In the meantime, continue to watch our channel by clicking on this next video right now, right now, right now.